What is up? My name is Justin Gaston, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a drone boomerang in Premiere Pro 2020. There have been some updates in Premiere that are gonna make you making boomerangs um, a lot easier. Open up a Premiere Pro, and you're going to drag your clip into the timeline, all right? If you do not know how to do that, you have just jumped into, um, you, you need to watch some other videos. Okay, cool. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is something I call cutting the fat. You're going to cut the fat. You're going to find what you actually need. There's gonna be some stuff at the beginning, some stuff at the end that you don't need. Cut the fat, all right? You don't need that fat. It's jiggling, you got love handles, you don't want those. You know, get rid of them. Part of the beginning here, I'm looking down, oh, oh, peace sign. You like the peace sign? We're going to cut that right there. And then there's a, ooh, who jerked the camera, don't need that. And uh, we're going to select that, boom, cut that out right there. The fat, the fat has been cut. What we're going to do so we can control the speed in our clip is we're going to right click, show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed, okay? So now that little line that is right there, uh, if you pull it up, it goes faster. You pull it down, my guy, guess what? It goes slower, all right? So what we wanna do now is we wanna take the pen tool and we wanna find exactly where we want our ramp to start and we want it to finish, all right? So in my video, we had it start, I had to start like right after I started zooming out. So we put a boom right there. And then um, I had to stop a little bit before right there. Cool, so I'm gonna zoom in. And uh, now you're gonna find the duration that you want your ramp to, to how long you want it to last. Like how long do you want it to be going up, all right? So we're gonna take that and we're like, hey, you know what? couple seconds here really you just got to play around with this until you find how you want it probably later on in this video I will adjust it because I'm like oh that's not what I wanted um, so yeah we're gonna do that there and now time for a little speedy part do you remember what you do um, you take your selection tool and you just go you go ham you go wow super fast because now in Premiere Pro 2020 you are not limited to just going um, 10,000 I believe it was it was or like a thousand you can go up to 20,000 times faster before you had to nest things and it was just confusing and I'm not even gonna like waste my time telling you how you used to do it because it's 2020 new things are happening 2020 vision I'm sure you've not heard that before okay so moving things super fast Boom, we love it. We're just going so fast. Um, yeah, so I like uh, I like my 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 um my to go fast there. All right, so I'm actually gonna make this a little taller over here on the timeline so I can see this. This is where you ramp, all right. I'm going to change that duration right there. I'm gonna actually make it a little longer. And so when you click this here, you see that little line right there? You turn this, and this is what makes it a smooth ramp. That's what makes it not jerky and makes it look like butter, you know, butter on your toast. All right, I'm gonna make that a little longer and then I'm actually gonna make it a little faster um, because I want it to be faster. All right, boom, shot it, ha <laughs> ha. Got it to where I like it. Now to make the boomerang part. We have the ramp, um, now we gotta make it come back, okay? So we're going to copy, and then we're gonna to come to the end of the timeline here, we're going to paste it, right? You're going to go to clip, uh, speed and duration, sorry. And then reverse speed, swoop, and then it's like, oh wait, now I'm gonna come back to you. And that's the basics. That's all you got, right? So you wanna add a little flavor? You wanna add a little flavor to your video? Okay, so, like this is my project that I made earlier. So I've added a color grade to this. I uh, copied and pasted it two more times. And then I add a little whoosh sound effect at the bottom there. And then I added a little music, you know? You know, hey, oh, 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 oh. Um, and that's how you make a drone boomerang. Pro tip, when you're filming your drone boomerang, don't make any jerky moments. Um, you wanna make it to be smooth, go back, and then just, mm, that gradual, that gradual scent into the heavens. Now, let me teach you how to export this thing, all right? So you're saying, hey, I wanna put this on Instagram, um, and then you need to change the little settings because it just looks better on the feed when it's a little square um, or like the rectangle. 
the vertical rectangle. Um, so the easiest thing to do is you're gonna come in here, right click, and you're going to nest this baby. Okay, boom. You're gonna come in here. You're gonna go file, new, sequence, okay? I know they have auto reframe, but I do not want to mess that up on the video for you today, all right? So we're gonna go 1080 by 1080 by 1350. You're going to go to DSLR, square pixels, boom, we like it, boom, and we're going to just paste that guy in here. And then we're just gonna have to make sure that it is lined up how we want it to be with our beautiful friends there. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be good. And then you just, you know, file, export, media, and then you gotta use Format, not quick time, make it H264. Bam! Map source, high bit rate. Yeah, that's all you gotta do there. And then you gotta export that guy. And then you're done. Then you're done. I will see you next time. Make a video again. My name is Justin Gaston. If you enjoyed this content, if you learned something new, and if you smiled, please give it a like. If you did not like this video at all, double tap the dislike button. Love you guys. See you next time. And uh, yeah. Have a great week. Bye.